Hello my beautiful people, welcome to your weekly general taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these readings are general overviews for everybody, for all signs everywhere in the world. This is just kind of like an overarching energy trend or theme that we're all likely to be experiencing over the week ahead. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance, and I pray that the message that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help us all on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So uh, before we get into it, the message that came through when I went into my intuition this week, um, what I saw was somebody holding a map and they were looking at it and they were, you know, turning it this way and turning it that way and puzzling over what was on there. And what I could see from my view was that on the other side of the map underneath, there was, um, there was, that was where the clue, you know, or the thing that they were looking for was on. And the words that I heard in my head was sometimes the track on the B side is better than the one that you, that, that you bought the CD for, right? Um, only people who actually bought CDs or tapes <laughs> will, will even get that. I just thought to myself, like, Raph, there's a whole bunch of people that are probably watching this that probably don't even know what you're talking about. Um, for those of you that know, uh, you know, when you used to buy singles on tapes, believe it or not, um, the B-side, sometimes on the B-side, you would find a track that was, you know, that rivaled the song that you even purchased the tape or the CD for. Um, and the message that came through from that was look beyond the front of the map, right? So this week, whatever you're working on, whatever you're dealing with, whatever you are going through, don't look only at the situation, the thing or the person that presents. Look behind, beyond or around them. The reason I say that is because if you're just focused on something being one way, you might miss all of the amazing glory that's, you know, that is somewhere else that you're not looking. And that's why I gave that example. So uh, you know, for the younger generations that might be watching this, we used to buy tapes and on that tape would be the single that you wanted to buy from the latest artist or whatever. But on the B side, there would be another track that they, you know, maybe weren't ever going to release or any or do anything with. Sometimes they were the absolute bangers. And that's the message that I got from this when I saw the map and I heard those words. I was like, you know, it's like sometimes the, the, the whatever's on the B side, sometimes the thing that's not the most popular, sometimes the looking in the space beyond what is shiny or glitzy or glam, whatever is in front of you may not necessarily be where the answers are. Look or dig or delve a little bit deeper or beyond what you're seeing, all right? So look beyond the front of the map because the message might be on the behind. So for our destiny card for the week ahead, we have the Hierophant card, right? So this makes total sense to me, especially with the sca scandal that's broken here in the UK, which uh, as far as I'm concerned is laughable. And trust me, as soon as that hit, I was looking beyond the map. Uh, <laughs> I won't get into it because I don't do politics, but yeah, what a crock of shit. Um, anyway, the fact that we have the Hierophant card as the Destiny card, this week, it's, we're all gonna have to think about the confines of the institutions or the establishments that we have to work within, uh, right? Whether this is meeting some sort of red tape, whether it's having to work with a governing body, whether it's a gatekeeper in your own life, whether this is at work, in your, prof uh, in your profession, in your academics, maybe you are wanting to do some sort of expansion or some sort of growth and there's a block that's put in your path and it's coming from somebody who kind of wants to hold the keys and you know swing them around on their finger like well you know it's up to me if i let you in or not fuck off you're gonna <laughs> you see that you're like <laughs> i was about to go into a whole tirade there uh, i'm so glad i managed to stop myself um this week Again, if you can't go in the front door, find a side door. If you can't find a side door, find a back door. If you can't find a back door, 
create a new fucking building, quite frankly. That's that's where I'm at with the way that things are at this moment in time. I'm feeling quite incensed and quite enraged about the way that things are taking place right now, as you can probably sense. Um, and that's because I worry about not only myself, but future generations, and also for my people, you know, the people that I love, the people that I care about. And I'm not just talking about my own family, I'm talking about you guys as well, you know, my extended family. Um, this week, finding a way to work within the confines that are set for you and not necessarily by you is going to be vital. Sometimes you have to play ball in order to win the game, all right? So just think about what that means for you in your own life. The other way that this could play out, um, we could be seeing some sort of uh, flex of power on the world, wider world stage. Uh, I feel sorry for anybody that tries to do that at this moment in time because they're going to get a whole heap of backlash that they're really not waiting for. Um, Alright, so for our direction card, how do we best utilise or work with this energy? With the Four of Wands, that's lovely, right? Uh, start from home. Right, whatever that means. For some of you, if you've been thinking about getting out there into a new job, if you're thinking about breaking into a new industry, start where you are, start at home, right? Uh, look at Bezos, he started uh, bloody Amazon from his garage. Hello? <coughs> All right, then you've got the Nine of Swords. Uh, don't get up in your mind about this, right? And don't convince yourself that you need a whole bunch of things that you really don't. Good example, if you're hoping to start a YouTube channel, don't go out and spend two grand on a new this and a new that and a da da da. There are people out there absolutely smashing it with a phone, right? I kid you not, I've met some of them. Uh, you, for your uh, And then for your next card, you've got the Eight of Swords, right? So very interesting, this week, there could be a potential for us to be trapped in the worst prison of all in our own minds and finding a way to hold on to the ray of hope that is in your life, whatever that might be for you, whatever that future thing that you're working towards, do not let your dreams be stifled this week by uh, you know, allowing your mind to convince you that you don't have what you need to do what it is that you desire or you dream. Um, now, because we've got the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords, it does suggest uh, this week we are going to see more to do with, uh, you know, more discussions about lockdowns, etc. The fact that we've got the Four of Wands means that it's likely to be some good news, um, but it does feel like a lot of people are very sceptical about this. Now, on a personal level, a microcosmic level, the four of wands with the hierophant card that's the yes from the institution that you appeal to if you've got a loan application if you've got a job application if you've got an appeal or a request or anything like that this would be a good week to put it in uh for your uh your nine of swords with the hierophant card um stop putting your power in other people's hands don't get me wrong we, you know we can't just suddenly wake up and decide that's it i'm going rogue um but for the most part, what you can control, you can control. Don't give it all away this week, all right? And then when it comes to the Eight of Swords, uh, yeah, the Eight of Swords with the Hierophant card, this could literally be um, an enforcement of something. But on a personal level, this could be, in a way, this could be you deciding, well, you know what, this is the way that it is. This could be uh, an acceptance, but that acceptance isn't coming from a place of, I want an easy life. It's coming from a place of, uh, what's the word? Um, submission. And this week, I want you to can rage against that, right? Do not go quietly into that good night, as the poem says. Uh, and, you know, this isn't me saying, you know, go off the rails or anything, but this is me definitely encouraging you to take your own power back and make decisions based on what is going to be good for you. Uh, for your insight cards for the week, we've got the Six of Cups. Beautiful. We've got the Nine of Cups. Oh, yeah. And we've got the Five of Wands. So for a little bit of discomfort now, it does look like things are really picking up for us. So the Six of Cups, that is, uh, you know, the example that's come into mind is, you know, like in a court battle, um, people will cite previous cases to defend whatever it is that they're trying to present. 
I feel like this is one of those weeks where the will of the people is not only being known, being shouted, screamed and heard, but more importantly, there are going to be examples that are set forward of why whatever it is that we as a collective desire is the right way forward. The fact that we've got the Nine of Cups, I think that's the wish fulfilled for all of us with the Five of Wands in the mix. It does suggest it's not necessarily gonna be an easy peace that is reached, but it will be peace nonetheless. Um, I actually really like this. I think in a lot of ways as well, one of the things that I love about this, it actually suggests it's gonna be the young people that really start to speak up. And ultimately, those are the ones that we need to placate because when the rest of us are in bloody uh, adult diapers rocking back and forth because we're decrepit, they're going to be the ones that we need to look, you know, that we're going to need to look after us and that we're going to have to answer to, quite frankly. So it's really important that we get it right for them as a collective so that they can uh, love, care and, and support us when the time comes that we're going to need it. Um, Sorry, I'm getting way off topic and going on, on, on my soapbox here, but I don't know, it's really weird because usually I, I'm able to really allow this stuff to slide, but at the moment I'm, I'm quite incensed uh, about everything. I know a lot of you are probably thinking, wow, he's very calm for somebody that's incensed right now. <laughs> I assure you, that's only the, the external. <laughs> um, with that said, uh, let me know in the comments how this shapes up for you guys or what you see on the wider world stage that you think might correspond to this. Uh, I think we're going to hear, be hearing something this week about the education system for sure. Uh, I definitely feel like we're going to see uh, or at least get some good news about whatever the plans are for opening the planet up. Um, and it does look like there are going to be some good news about the entertainment industry, which I really like. Uh, it does look like there are going to be good news about... Um, uh, group activities and or um, uh, entertainment venues, if that's the word that I was looking for. Uh, all in all though, I don't think it's going to be a bad week, but I do think it's going to be an interesting one. Uh, stay, stay tuned, <laughs> keep them peeled, all right? Take care and I'll see you soon.